It's a special day in Grand Rapids. A brand new exhibit at the Ford Museum is now open. Yeah, this one showcases the life and legacy of First Lady Betty Ford. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks joining us live now from the museum with what the Ford family is saying about the addition. Brian and Emily, good evening to both of you. No doubt about it, a special day here at the Gerald R. Ford Museum. I want to show you here, there's still quite a few people lingering about, starting to go through the, the uh, exhibit here at the museum, just open today to the public for the first time. No doubt about it, it is a special, really designated area for recognizing Betty Ford. You can see they've got a couple of her dresses here. And Susan Ford Bales, her daughter, was here to talk about the commemoration of this and why this is so important to the legacy of her parents. Listen. What do you think mom would say about this exhibit? Well, I think she would be really impressed with it. It's beautiful. Um, they've done an amazing job of recreating different parts of our life. Um, I learned some things that I didn't know about my mother, both with Lisa's book and with this. So, you know, it's it's interesting. And to see my dollhouse that I played with as a child is in there. And it's, just, it's fun. It's just really fun. What do you hope people who come through this take away about your mom? Well, I think people need to realize what Betty Ford started a long time ago as far as the Equal Rights Amendment and breast cancer and drug and alcohol addiction. And uh, she was a very modern, modern first lady and she was a very proactive congressional wife way before people were really ever doing it. Well, again, this will be open uh, to the public from here on out. Obviously, uh, a lot of intimate, a lot of intricate parts of the First Lady's life, a part of this exhibit. We actually had a chance to go through that and some of our reporting over the last few days. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out at woodtv.com. Right now, we are reporting live downtown Grand Rapids. Leon Hendricks, back to you.